Hello friends and thanks for watching. My name is Mr. Peter, I'm a children's librarian, but I'm also the president of our library's Lego Club. So what we do at Lego Club is we, is we build around a theme that changes every single time that we meet. Uh, and this week's theme was Mad Libs. So if you've ever done Mad Libs before, um, you know they get kind of wacky. We did a, a sample Mad Libs um, together as a group before um, we, we started building. So here, here's how this one turned out. <laughs> nice. So once we did our Mad Libs as a group, each kid was assigned a sentence in a, a crazy kind of Mad Libs um, story that all flowed together. So each kid was given one sentence and one prompt, and then whatever they decided their prompt and their sentence was going to be, they had to build around that. The kids had no idea what was happening before their sentence or after their sentence, but they kind of just had to build regardless and just kind of try to figure out what was going on. They could add to their piece however they wanted to, um, just to make it flow a little bit better or if they you know, just wanted to be a little bit more creative, but some element of that original sentence had to be in their piece. So everyone spent the hour um, making their own individual sentences, and then at the end of the hour, we all went around the room and we uh, read the story together and it got pretty crazy. So I thought I would share the story with you right now. Um, it gets a little crazy. It's like Lego Club Theater. I like it. So here's the story we made. Hope you like it. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Joe. And Joe was the best accountant in town. One day, Joe rode on the back of his trusty fish to see his best friend Martha on the other side of town. Bloop, 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 bloop. Martha's house was easy to spot since it had a really large bike in the front yard. The two friends went inside her house and ate cucumbers and water. Martha told Joe that she had a problem. Her house was infested with one otter. <laughs> nice. Joe told Martha that all she had to do to get rid of the creatures was to build a giant green machine. But when Martha turned on the machine, it immediately fell down. Wow, ah, special effects. And somehow all the big creatures in Martha's house magically turned into tiny Donald Trumps. There's a little cactus Donald Trump. Moose Donald Trump, and he has the hair. I like it. So Joe screamed and jumped ah, to try and scare the magical creatures away. Special effects! The creatures became angry and destroyed Martha's house with a big pencil! Martha said, I can't live here anymore, so let's all ride in my airplane and find a new place to live. Oh, and they have the little luggage carrier thingy too, cool. Martha and Joe flew around until they came across a dark swamp with mermaids. And they would build Martha's house here. First, Martha and Joe built the walls of the new house, and they used giant hoverboards! to help them. A lot of hoverboards. That's a lot of hoverboards. Very cool. Then Martha and Joe fixed the roof of the house. It had a giant H on it. And Martha filled her yard with things that start with that letter. So H for house, I guess. Then the two friends painted the house, but they couldn't decide on a color. So Joe painted one side yellow, and Martha painted the other side red. Very cool, very cool house. The kid also thought it was really funny to make a guy driving a car with no pants on. <laughs> so, nice touch. Now that the house was built, they decided to throw a party. Joe and Martha decided the party would be fairy themed. Ooh, fairy on a bicycle! Very nice. And they would have lots of decorations. Like, skeletons? Okay, that works. Joe left the party and went back to his house in a bus pulled by four horses. Nice, so we got one, two, three, and this little happy horse. I like it. And a pig with an eye patch? Cool. Joe went to sleep and dreamed about pigs eating 
potato chips. All night. The end.